Hello everyone and welcome again to a short stop with a short stop. Today we're going to talk a little bit about rules. In the game of baseball there's a rule book. It tells you the things that you can do and the things that you can't do. There's two foul lines. You have to hit the ball in between the lines for it to be a fair ball. The pitcher has to throw a ball across a plate which is 17 inches wide, but it has to be between the uh, chest and the knees and go over the plate for it to be a strike. You can only have nine players on the field at a time. Uh, they're getting ready to change some of the rules next year from what I understand as far as being able to have an infielder out in the outfield grass uh, and you have to have your feet in the dirt and they're not going to let them uh, uh, play way over to the right and have other infielders like three or four infielders just on the right side or three or four infielders just on the left side. They're going to change the rules, but that's okay. That'll be in the rule book. Babe Ruth in the American League, he hit 60 home runs one year, and that stood for a long time. And then there came a guy by the name of Roger Maris that played for the Yankees also. He ended up hitting 61 home runs. <clears throat> and right now it still stands as the uh, American League most home runs for a year. But just the other day, a guy by the name of uh, Aaron Judge, he hit 61. He has tied it. He's got a few games left, and he's going to try to break it. But in the National League, uh, 1998, a guy by the name of Sammy Sosa, he hit 66 home runs. And in that same year, uh, Mark McGuire hit 70, 70 home runs. And, but yet, they do not allow that to be the record uh, for the National League. And then along came Barry Bonds, and he hit 73 home runs. He hit more than Mark McGuire or Sosa. And they will not let that stand as the mark of the most home runs hit in the National League. There's an asterisk by it. Why? Because they said that they were on steroids or performance-enhancing drugs. And at that time, it was not going by the rule book. We have to go by the rule book. In our spiritual lives, if we don't play by God's rule book, we can end up in a bad place. And that place is called hell. And it's not an easy thing to preach about or teach about because it has a lot of sadness with it. But it needs to be preached on and talked about and understand that it's a literal place. And it's a place that we do not want to go. In Revelation chapter 20 and verse 14 and 15 says it is a lake of fire. Have any of you ever put your hands on a stove or lit a match and put your finger to it? It doesn't feel good. And it, it feels very, very bad and it's painful. And in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 30, it says it is a place of outer darkness. I wouldn't want to be in a place for eternity forever in a dark place. Or I wouldn't want to be felt like I'm being burnt either. But in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 28, it says it is a place of eternal destruction. And when it talks about eternal, that means forever. And how long is forever? It just goes on and on and on, and it never ends. But there's another place that's called heaven, and that's the place that we do want to go. In John chapter 14 and verses 1 through 6, it says that Jesus goes to prepare a place for us. And he says it's going to have mansions. It's going to be a place that we can't really even describe. Uh, in first, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1, it says it's going to be an eternal house. It's not built with hands. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9, it says it's going to have a beauty that is indescribable. Uh, we as human beings can't really fathom what heaven is going to be like, and it's a place that we want to go. It's a place that we want to be because it's going to be for eternity. We look right now, there's been a, a, a really bad flood in eastern Kentucky, and people are still trying to get over it. And right now, even today, there's a, a hurricane that's hit Florida. 
and it's done some really massive destruction. But if we think about it, they're going to be able to get over that in time, and it's going to take some time. But yet when we look at hell, it's a place of massive destruction, a place of burning, a place of darkness, but yet they're not those that go there are never ever going to be able to get over it because it's going to last for eternity and it's a place that we do not want to go but it comes back to the rule book what does God say in the rule book he t says that we need to obey that gospel plan of salvation we need to hear believe repent confess and be baptized for the remission of our sins in order to uh, become a member of the church the church of Christ the one that Christ died for, and then end up in heaven. But we have to live our lives the way that Christ wants us to live our lives. Don't hit 73 home runs or 70 or 66 and break the rules. Hit the 61 like Aaron Judge has and follow the rules like Roger Maris did. And then let's all end up in heaven together. Thank you again for being with a shortstop with a shortstop.